Hello there, this is the Shadow Ranger here to make a quick video. I apologize for the background noise. My computer's uh, doing something that's making noise. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to go ahead and make this video while the topic was on my mind. I have a question for wrestling fans. Um, I responded to True Slayer's video, ROH Bots vs. ROH Haters, and he was talking about the people who bash ROH and to tell why. And I made my response to tell him about why I don't like Ring of Honor. And, and that question is, why did he have to make that video? Why are there ROH haters? And for that matter, why are there WWE haters and why are there TNA haters? My question to the people who come on YouTube and bash a promotion is, why do you bash a promotion? You have other promotions who, well, everybody who bashes one promotion talks about another promotion that's better. So you have a wrestling promotion that is that is entertaining you and satisfying your needs as a wrestling fan. So why bother taking the time to come on and bash another promotion? Is you see that every promotion you bash has fans, so obviously other people like it. It serves a group of fans that you aren't a part of. So why do you bash? Let's break down our three main wrestling organizations in America. We have the WWE, we have TNA, we have Ring of Honor. Let's break them down. Ring of Honor touts itself of being the wrestling heavy show. Kerry Silken in every interview I ever hear him, he always likes to tout the, 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 how much wrestling is in each episode of the HDNet show. He likes to tout the number of minutes in each of wrestling in each show. It's Ring of Honor is for the fans who who are more interested in the athletic aspect of wrestling. If you like lots of matches and heavy wrestling and lots of high spots and technical wrestling and, and, and whatnot, Ring of Honor is the product for you. Now, that particular aspect doesn't of wrestling doesn't really appeal to me that much, which is why I don't watch Ring of Honor. But I don't come on here and bash it. It, it serves a niche of wrestling fans that I'm not part of. So I don't watch. Next let's look at TNA. TNA is the very heavy storyline wrestling show. They focus a lot more on the storylines and not as much on the in-ring product. Which is why I like TNA most. I I personally watch wrestling more for the storyline. I like the soap opera aspect of wrestling more than the actual wrestling matches. I don't mind that that that, in that impact you can watch impact and get like a a five minute TV match. Uh, that doesn't bother me. A five minute match is perfectly fine with me. You get the longer matches on pay per view. I watch wrestling for the storyline. Personally, personally, I think storylines is really the only thing that separates pro wrestling from mixed martial arts. Or actually, without storylines, wrestling is just pretty gay. You know when you take story. In my opinion, you take storylines out of wrestling, then you're left with two oiled up shirtless men in spandex having a fake fight, which sounds really gay. But you know, but anyway, I like heavy storylines. I liked one of the things I liked about the Attitude Era is that you had a main event, but you had good storylines in the mid card and the lower card, and that's what I like about TNA. You have multiple storylines up and down the card. Everybody on the show is doing something. You have storyline and a few going on in the world title picture. You have a feud and storyline uh, for the TV title. You have a feud and storyline for the S Division title. You have a feud and storyline for the tag team titles. You have a feud and storyline for the knockouts title. You have two secondary feuds. You have secondary feuds. I mean, right now there's three feuds going on in just the knockouts alone. You have the Mickey James Madison Rain feuding for the knockouts title. You have the 
ongoing storyline of Angelina Love and Winter who have now become tag champions and you have the feud between uh, Velvet Sky and Sarita so just the knockouts alone is three different feuds I can watch the Brother Ray vs. Devon feud I can watch the Double J Double MA the Guns Beer Money program for the tag titles the Lethal Kazarian uh, program for the X Division title the overall story of Immortal trying to win all the belts the story of AJ being threatened to be thrown out if he doesn't get get back the TV title. This new storyline of Samoa Joe accusing the Pope of being a fraud and a fake. I want to see where that goes. TNA is very storyline heavy. If you, like me, like the storyline, the soap opera aspect of pro wrestling, TNA is the company for you. Like I said... I don't come because I like TNA. I don't come on here and bash Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor just in for me. Now let's look at WWE. WWE is more of the variety show of wrestling. You got some. You got a, you got a couple decent matches. They throw in some comedy. You get celebrities show up from time to time. Well, we had a lot of them last year, but. Maybe more of the middle ground where <coughs> WWE isn't as focused on the wrestling aspect. They're not as focused on the storyline aspect. They're focused on, on the overall entertainment aspect. We want to throw other things in other than wrestling to entertain you. You know. And that's cool too, you know. That's 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 fine. I, I mean, I like WWE too. I wish it had a little more uh, storylines going on in the undercard. You know, one of my complaints about Raw for the past couple of months is that Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan has a belt that nobody wants. I mean, I mean, really, you know, because you know he won the U.S. title from Miz, and really, how often did the Miz defend the belt when he had it, the U.S. title when he had it? No, not that often. So. You know, he won the belt from the Miz, and he had the rematch with John Morrison thrown in for the three-way. And since then, how many times has he actually defended the belt? How many times have you actually heard somebody even say that they want the U.S. title? You know, he had that one pay-per-view match with Ted DiBiase, and then there was never another title match with Ted Jr. after that. And then, a couple weeks ago, Tyson Kidd shows up and says that he wants the U.S. title, but then... Immediately after, Tyson Kidd goes out, and then he and his big, tough bodyguard both get squashed by Mark Henry. So, so he can't be a credible challenger. He's been destroyed. So, but I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, but WWE is the overall variety show. They're not so much focused on the wrestling. They're going to do whatever they need to do to entertain you and center that entertainment around wrestling. Which is good too. Like I, I do, like I said, I do have complaints, some complaints about WWE, but I genuinely enjoy watching WWE, watching Raw. I don't really watch SmackDown that much. My, I have the same complaint about SmackDown is that they're not enough storylines. I mean, SmackDown is like there's a world title program and Rey Mysterio feuds with somebody, but everyone else just seems to be kind of doing stuff. You know, they don't do anything; they just do stuff. But, you know, I don't watch much SmackDown anyway, so I can't really comment too much on it. <laughs> so, so, so there's your a quick your, your breakdown of the three companies. WWE is your variety show. TNA is your, is your storyline heavy show. Ring of Honor is your in-ring wrestling heavy show. So, the, so there's something for everybody. Okay? Each show, even though you may not like it, you don't like it because it's not being targeted towards you. You like a different aspect of wrestling. Like I said, yeah, a lot of people aren't going to like TNA. They're not into the heavy storyline aspect of a wrestling program. So they don't watch. But what I don't get is why those people feel they need to come on and bash TNA. <coughs> Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor is very focuses heavy on the in-ring product. And that's great too. But myself and some other people aren't really into the heavy, heavy wrestling focus of a, of the show. 
I don't bash Ring of Honor. I don't come on making anti Ring of Honor vids, and I do not understand why other people feel they need to do so. WWE is the more variety show, and again, while I'm not uh, super happy with WWE right now, I don't bash them. But some people do. But if you don't like that variety show aspect of WWE, it's because that just isn't what appeals to you. So, and there's just no reason for you to bash it. So, uh, <coughs> to reiterate my original question is, for those people who come on and bash a particular wrestling show, my question to you is, why do you bash it? So, to the people who hear this and bash WWE, why do you feel you need to bash WWE when they when you have TNA and Ring of Honor who are probably who one of those companies are probably get are giving you one of those other two companies TNA and Ring of Honor are giving you a wrestling product that you like if you don't like TNA why do you take time to bash TNA when you have WWE and Ring of Honor to watch one of those two companies are satisfying you if you're a fan of Ring, if you uh, don't like Ring of Honor, why do you bash Ring of Honor when you have TNA and WWE putting on program to satisfy you, the wrestling fan? If you have one or two companies satisfying you, why do you feel you need to come on and and just bitch about the third one? Please leave your answer in the comments below or make a response video. This is the Shadow Ranger. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.